if you watch the full video, I guarantee you, you will get more listings. 100% guarantee, because it's helped the team and I get a lot more listings. And so I don't know how many of you um, go on appointments for listings, but for those of you that have, or even haven't, here is a technique that you can use that will help you get way more listings than you did in the past. So I know you guys have watched some of my videos in the past, and um, a lot of times people call me every week about marketing and stuff. And one of the ways, probably the biggest way I've gotten marketing help in my career, who I'm very, very grateful for, is Curator. And Curator is my marketing company. They do my website. I get, I get marketing coaching every week from Jimmy Mack and Chris Smith and the whole um, mastermind group on Curator. And if you've ever seen me wear the shirt before, closer, the C is Curator's um, logo. And this is the shirt that they, they have that I was able to get. Um, so anyways, let me get right to it. So I'm going to be sharing my screen in a bit. But I don't know how many of you can relate to this. You're going on a listing appointment. You're not sure if the seller is going to be interviewing other agents or not, but most likely um, they will, depending on the price range. I saw a stat recently. Um, it was an NAR stat. Someone shared it with me. I didn't verify it, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's accurate or I'm remembering it correctly. And so it's surprising that 30% of people interview more than one agent. So that means 70% of people don't interview other agents when they're thinking about listing their house for sale. And as the price point gets higher, I would imagine um, that they'll probably interview more agents or do more research on the agents. So many of us work really, really hard um, when we get that listing to try and sell that home. And I'm sure many of you um, actually do the research and look up comps and do other things like that um, before your listing. But if you do this, this thing that I'm gonna share with you, and I'll get to it, but if you do this, you will get way more listings because you're doing something proactively that almost all agents don't do. So Jimmy Mackin from Curator taught me this a few years ago. And so let me share my screen with you in a sec. So I'm going to Compass's back end, and you don't have to have Compass. Um, I'm not trying to get you to go to Compass or not. I'm just sharing you how I do it, and I'll give you alternative ways to do it for yourself, which is really, really easy. So the first thing, anyways, this in case you guys are curious, this is Compass's back end, our CRM, and just everything is all in one on the back end. It's pretty cool. They have this thing every day. It gives us um, likely sellers um, recommendations. So this is homes that have a higher likelihood of selling within the next 12 months. So it gives us recommendations every day. So um, we can reach out, we can monitor their activity better, or every once in a while, send them an email, a seller type email and see how they engage with it. But anyways, this isn't about Compass. So the first thing you need to do is if you're going on a listing appointment and um, you're doing your research, meaning you know, you're know you doing comps, you're doing everything else, you're getting ready. And depending on um, how you do um, listing appointments, in Miami, Miami Beach, most of South Florida, it's usually a one appointment listing appointment, meaning we go there, if everything works out, we get the seller to sign the paperwork. I know that some, some places around the US and some people have different styles where you're going to um, basically go on more than one um, appointment. So anyways, this is, this is prior going to the first appointment. So one thing you can do is, first of all, like in the area, go on your MLS or like on Compass, I can go to this tool. Let me share it with you. It's called a networking tool. So I'm gonna click on it. So what it does is, it's gonna pull up in a sec if my internet connection is good. So I'm gonna put the address of a property that I, am, I just listed. It hasn't even come out yet. So this, this is what I would do prior 
to going on the listing appointment. So I put the address in the, in the field. So it is 5045 Westwood Lake Drive right here. So I could fill in beds, baths, square footage and all that, but I don't want to. So I'm gonna press get started. So this is a market that I don't really sell too many properties in. So I'm gonna, let me move my screen a little bit. You can't see that anyways. Um, so anyways, um, so what this did, this is like going on your MLS and pulling up a zip code and looking up, let me see how long this has been. This is actually, let me don't, let me not do that. So I'm pulling up properties that are currently on the market in zip code 33165. So it's showing different price ranges. And what it does is this tool that we have shows all the agents that have listings right now, um, how many listings they have, price, days on market, um, current premium is, let me see, I'll pull that up. <clears throat> you know what, I'm not gonna get too much into the specifics because if you don't if you don't have um, Compass, you don't work for Compass, it doesn't, I'm not, I don't wanna waste your time. So I'm also gonna look up under in contract, so pending offers right now. And I'm also going to look sold, this is in the last three months. So say I go to the last six months. So this is sort of cool. So I can pull up which agents sold the most in that time. So um, let me see, volume. So bottom line is there are not that many agents that have sold that many properties in here. So this person has two listings. It seems like there's very, very, um, there are a lot of agents that are selling in here. So there's not a ton of them. So anyways, when you pull up your MLS and you look up the, the actives in contract and sold, since there are so many sales here, I'm gonna pull up like the last three months. So there's still quite a few, 25, I mean 15, 28, and 28. So 56, um, 71, but some of them are probably some agents that have active, that have contract, and have, that have sold. So um, let me do the last one month, just because of COVID and stuff. So here we still have quite a few. We have um, four that were sold. 28 under contract in the last month, and there's active four. So what I can do is I can select these agents and um, see, go on the next page, and let me select these. And what I can do, so imagine you do that in your MLS, and then you export them, because I'm sure most of you can export them. So even though there are 15, 28, 43, 47, I selected 46. So there's only one person that has sold more than one. Very, very um, surprising. So anyways, I pull up their information. So I'm pulling it up, it's gonna pull up and it's, gonna, it's going to have all their information there. Let's do this, let's make it a little bigger. Okay, well. Obviously, I'm not that good at this while I have the pressure of doing it with you guys. But either way, um, you can see the name, the phone number, the email and stuff like that. So the next step is I'm going to do so I'm going to download this file. I'm going to download. So you would do this in your MLS. You download all the agents. So it's not that many. You know, it's 40 or 50 different agents. And then after that, I'm gonna write an email to this. So I'm not gonna write a bulk email because what happens is when you do a bulk email nowadays, and let me see if I can pull this up a bit. So when you do a bulk email nowadays, I'm sure you've seen it. When you get an email, it'll say from, a, from basically a mail service or something like that, something to that respect. So you, you don't feel like it's a personalized email. So what I did is, I'm writing an email to those agents in this area that sell in this, in this, in the zip code. So what I'm going to do, I'm doing this prior to going to my listing appointment. So I want to be proactive. So I'm going to reach out to these agents. So subject field is good afternoon, Maria. So when, 
when they see this, this isn't going to be a CRM where I pull up everything and I just dump it and I do a bulk email. I'm actually going to write, I'm going to write the email and then I'm going to copy and paste it and send them individually. Yeah, it takes a little bit longer because there's 40 or 50 of these, but it's going to be an individual email that's not going to go into their spam um, folder and they're going to probably read it because I am talking about what time of day it is. So they'll think it's, you know, it's accurate and their name. So the subject field and this subject field works pretty well for me. Good afternoon, Maria. The next thing says to personalize to that person. I know you sell a lot of homes in 33165. So you have to think too, when you write an email, you have to look at how they're probably going to look at it on their phone. So on their phone, it's going to be probably less information. So it'll probably say, good afternoon, Maria. And then you'll probably see like maybe this. It'll say, I know you sell a lot of homes in 3365 with the inventory so lower. Maybe something like that you'll see. So they're going to know it's to them. They're going to know the time of day. And they're going to know that they sell homes in 33165. So there, and because it doesn't say from it's like a mail service, they're going to know that it's, that it's to them. So they'll probably read it. So prior to going to my listing appointment, I write an email to potential agents that sell in that market. And I'm going to tease the potential listing for that property. So it says, good afternoon, Maria. And you don't need to worry about writing this down on my YouTube um, um, description of this video. I'm going to have the the email on there so you can copy it if you, if you like it. So anyways, good afternoon, Maria. I know you sell a lot of homes in 33165 with the inventory so low on single family homes, which I'm sure in all your markets it is. So with the inventory so low on single family homes, I thought you may be interested in knowing about an awesome place that will be coming on the market soon. You will know about it before any of your buyers and almost all realtors do. If you're interested, just reply yes to this. So basically I'm, I'm giving them the opportunity to look good in front of their clients because most clients, most buyers think they have seen all the inventory. And if we can be a value add and share with them properties that are coming on the market that haven't come on the market or properties that they have no idea about, they're gonna see us as a, a resource where we can show them more listings because obviously buyers wanna know about all the listings if they can to make sure they find the right one. And so this is a super simple email. All they have to do is reply yes. And just if you wanted to see how I, my email signature, basically I have my name, who I work for, my, you know, my title, licensed real estate agent, my work address, my mobile number. We do a show called All in Miami. You can see it on allinmiami.tv. So we put watch our show here. And then I have this thing where it has a thumbnail. And if you don't know how to make thumbnails, watch my other videos. I show you detailed how to make thumbnails super easy. So it's a thumbnail, but it's also a link. So if the person wants to click on this link, it'll take them to my video. So anyways, let, let's get back to the email. The email basically is telling them that if they go to, um, if they go to, um, sorry, I'm just having some technical difficulty. Okay. All right. So basically this email is telling them about a property that'll be coming on the market. So the reason I do this before my listing appointment is say I send it to 40 or 50 agents and then maybe six or seven or five or 10 or however many reply yes to me. When I go to that listing appointment, I can tell, and I'm not, I'll, I can tell the, the seller the truth, the 100% truth that, you know what, I have seven or 10 or 12 people that may be interested in your property. I already told them, gave them, I teased them about it and they would like to know more information. So I'm being proactive. Let me stop sharing now. I am being proactive with this listing. So imagine if you're selling your property and you're interviewing a bunch of agents and they come in and they, they don't ask you the right questions and they basically, the, last, the worst, this doesn't sound good, but the best way I could put it is 
when agents usually, not all of them, because there's some exceptional agents, but usually the way a listing appointment goes is the agent comes into the person's house, they don't ask them the right questions, and basically they sort of vomit all the information that their company can do without asking the seller the right questions. And it gets tiresome because the seller is not, you're not asking what the seller is looking for, and you're just telling them a bunch of information where some of it, they may not be interested in it. But if you ask the person and you tell the person that, you know, you're, you're so all in on getting their home sold that you've started working already, even before you were hired. Actually, you spent an hour or two reaching out to agents and seeing how many of them would potentially be interested in this home. And so far you have 10 or 12 that are interested in possibly seeing the property. If you do that and you're proactive, I guarantee you, you will get more listings. And everything I tell you in these videos isn't because I think it's a good idea. I tell you from experience and things that have worked really, really well for the team and I. So if you have any questions and you want to get in touch with me to ask best practices for anything, feel free to at any time. Thanks so much, guys, for watching and take care. Love you guys.